welcome to studio die casting solution my name is bharat sharma and uh, now we talk about the short end we'll discuss in this video basic short end dynamics and the process requirement as we know the die casting short end is made up of uh, several configuration the conventional cold chamber short end uh, you can see in this figure has the short sleeve at a 90 degree angle from the parting line the vertical cold chamber machine either has the machine platen and short end rotated vertical as shown in this figure or has the short sleeve on the parting line the hot chamber uh, machine shown in this figure has the short sleeve mounted vertical with the nozzle at about an uh, 80 degree angle from the parting line there are three critical component to the short end these components are accumulator the hydraulic short cylinder and the metal chamber sometimes we call it uh, short sleeve so the accumulator are typically uh, nitrogen over hydraulic fluid pressure vessel most accumulator have a piston to separate the nitrogen from the hydraulic fluid some have bladders to contain the hydraulic fluid in the accumulator some have nitrogen separating the from the hydraulic fluid the most efficient of this is the accumulator with the nothing separate the nitrogen from the hydraulic fluid however this system may allow nitrogen or hydraulic fluid into the short cylinder on die casting machine have a short accumulator cold chamber machine usually have a intensification accumulators these accumulator are required to provide hydraulic power to the short end providing this power cause a loss of volume of hydraulic fluids the reduced volume of fluid result in pressure drop within the accumulator therefore the die casting machine must recharge this accumulator with hydraulic fluid to replace the lost volume during each shot the result is that if the correct amount of hydraulic fluid is replaced the accumulator pressure will be the same as the last shot die casting machine control the recharge process during each shot using a pressure relief valve this pressure relief valve uh, reside between the hydraulic pump and the accumulators the pressure relief valve is a spring loaded valve that will open and uh, allow hydraulic pressure to go to the hydraulic accumulator if the spring pressure is not exceeded once the spring pressure is exceeded the valve close flow to the accumulator and uh, reroutes the flow to the hydraulic fluid tank the spring pressure is typically established using a screw that compress the spring Die casting employs at the relief pressure with a screw driver while watching a pressure gauge on the accumulator. It is important to verify accumulator pressure setting by verifying the initial head side pressure in the short profile or by using a transducer that is directly connected to the accumulator. This is important because of inaccuracy in the screw setting and in the pressure gauge used for setting the relief valve. the pressure in accumulator should be visually audited periodically by the die casting operator and monitor each shot by the plc or shot monitoring system this require the use of hydraulic pressure transducer the motion of shot end also must be monitored this is done by position and velocity transducer there are several position transducer uh, we'll discuss later and show how they look like 